so we have the power cord and it goes into the end machine and you guys this would be something you'd be able to figure out probably yourself um, when we're ready to plug them in our we will bring the extensions off the ceiling and be able to plug them in so the power cord cord goes there the speed controller also has a spot that it gets plugged in here too right above where the speed controller goes is the power switch just like any normal power switch. So anybody, you know, you guys all know about power switches. So you would turn the power on, you would know the power was on because the light will come on. There's a little light right above our needle. So those ready. Speed controller goes on the floor by your right foot. It doesn't go, it's not a hand tool that we're gonna set next to it. Okay, so then the parts. Right above the power switch is the, called the hand wheel. When you turn the hand wheel, you should notice that the needle is going up and down. You always want to turn the hand wheel towards you. So if I'm sitting here, I'm turning it so it comes forward towards me or counterclockwise. On the hand wheel, and Abby, get a look at this. See this um, ridge on the top of it? Yeah. The ridge that's on the top needs to be pointing straight up with that line. Even with that line, when we go to use the needle threader or the needle threader won't work. So just get in the habit of sitting down, looking at your hand wheel and getting it lined up right so then everything's ready to go. All right, so then the next tool in the back is a cap and a spool pin. So the spool pin, take the cap off and your spool of thread goes here, put the cap back on, and then we have thread guides. So they're usually silver, little silver hooks that help get the thread from the spool pin and cap down to the needle. So a thread guide, this little arm here is a thread guide, and then it follows the path. And there's numbers. So there's right up here is a number two that's pointing straight down, three points down and around, four up and over, and your thread just follows the path. Just count one, two, three, four, five. And then we're all set. We're down by the needle. So we, I think we probably all know what the needle is, right? Okay. We all know what the needle is, so we don't have to worry about the needle. Next to the needle on the side, is the needle threader. When we push on the gray part of the needle threader, the device comes down. Can you see that with the tape? The device will come down and um, we'll hook the thread through that and it'll help us thread the needle without us having to sit here and go through the eye of the needle like we did last year in sixth grade. It's, there's a little trick to it, but once you figure it out, you're gonna love the needle threader. I have my machine at home has one and you know I don't wanna have to ever thread by myself. It's nice to use the needle threader. So needle, needle threader, right underneath the needle, this movable part is called the presser foot. It comes off. There's a black button, push it, this comes off. Don't, you don't have to raise your hand and say, I, or someone else say, she broke the machine or he broke the machine because the presser foot comes. This is removable and it's interchangeable with other presser feet that come with the machine. So if you buy a machine, you're gonna get a packet of other items and, and there are different presser foots for different jobs. So this comes on and off, no big deal. Then you just line it back up, use the presser foot lifter that's inside the machine to go back onto it and it should snap right in and you're good to go. Now, because I want the part under the presser foot, I'm gonna move it out of the way. Um, notice how I don't have it plugged in and I don't have it turned on because my finger's gonna be under the needle. And if you want to hurt yourself, then you would have it all turned on and you'd stick your finger under the needle and then someone would walk by and push some button and then you'd be going, ah, so we're not gonna do that. Cause I don't want, like did I, t I told you last year, it did happen and I had to use pliers to get the needle out of the other teacher's finger. Luckily it was an adult, um, but it was so kind of scary that you know, like, yeah, she has a broken needle stuck in her finger. But underneath there, when you get to your machines, you can take the presser foot off and feel, They're, they feel like um, zigzags or little, um, like razor teeth, they're called feed dogs. And I think the reason they're called feed dogs is it's like they bite the fabric and they move the fabric. So if you watch the feed dog, when I turn the hand wheel, it moves continually up and back and up and back. So it takes the fabric through the machine for us. We don't have to push and we don't have to hold, we are guides. We hold the fabric and we just keep a straight line. That's all we have to do. The machine does the work for us. So the feed dogs are um, an important tool. So I'll put this back on. In front of the feed dogs is the um, bobbin compartment. So the bobbin, last year we, some of us used little bobbins that had thread on them because we were using up the thread. Now we'll need a bobbin because bobbin sounds a lot like bottom and it's the bottom.